this session, uh, we will focus on how we have, uh, we are aiming to, I would say, break down the overall envelopes uh, complexity uh, within Airbus helicopter to, I would say, industrialize and uh, I would say scale up the deployment of all the AI, um, I would say, models that are currently uh, developed by data scientists. We will start by the beginning. So I'm Alexandre Barbier. I'm part of the Airbus helicopter company. I am working in the IM department. I am the container product manager. Uh, so for the OpenShift platform, the enterprise OpenShift platform. And um, basically, I am a platform engineer. So as I saw uh, this morning, um, I'm not at all understand the data scientists and how they work. Okay, so Sebastian is there with me to explain to you how he is working and how he is dealing with the OpenShift platform. Hi everyone, so I'm Sebastian Delecraz. I'm also in uh, Airbus Helicopters uh, company at uh, Marignan. Um, I work in the digital acceleration uh, office as a senior data scientist and uh, I uh, support uh, all uh, business function to, uh, to deploy and uh, to create uh, artificial uh, intelligence uh, solution. Okay, so let's start uh, by the beginning in terms of context. So basically, currently we have on-premises clusters, so many more than one clusters, but for the one that we are talking about today, we have one cluster for hosting all the data science project, the data scientist project at least, and we are also deploying on this cluster, the production cluster, the digital factory services for helping, I would say, developers building easily web applications that will, at the end, uh, would say, provide access to the uh, data science project at least. Um, so for the digital factory service, please go on the next session this afternoon. I will uh, just explain what we have done on that front. Uh, we are a small team uh, within the Airbus Helicopter IA department for supporting the solution. When I'm talking about a small team, we are four people, internal people, and we are working closely with uh, Capgemini external people, uh, which are uh, currently four people also to support the overall solution in terms of uh, infrastructure, as it is an on-prem infrastructure deployed in our data centers, and also for managing the OpenShift cluster itself. We have some high requirements in terms of security due to the data sensitivity with which, I would say, data scientists will have to uh, deal with. And uh, um, you have to know that we started, uh, we started already this journey uh, by deploying some open data hub components some years ago, at least uh, three years ago. Um, by uh, on the OpenShift cluster, but basically it was on the OpenShift 4.x um, version. Uh, so we had some limitation, by the way, uh, on this version. Uh, this is for the technical part on your side. Yes, so for the functional and data science uh, context, uh, at Airbus Helicopters, we have a lot of uh, data scientists, but they are all spread into uh, multiple uh, business functions. We don't have uh, a centralized uh, team. Um, and so on the, on the environment we deploy for, uh, for, this, uh, for this data scientist, uh, it was uh, on the previous uh, version, uh, just uh, one Jupyter Lab environment uh, available to test and develop uh, AI uh, use cases. But we have a strong limitation to industrialize uh, machine learning solution, we need uh, each time to uh, work with uh, Alexander team to uh, to create and uh, some kind of pipeline or, uh, or industrialize uh, solution. Um, at uh, Airbus Helicopters, we discover that uh, function due to this kind of limitation uh, start to build their own uh, AI platform in a dedicated environment to. Uh, have uh, the access to uh, more uh, industrialized uh, performance. Okay. So in this objective, uh, so as usual, huh, we are not understanding ourselves uh, always. So we have our ops stakes and objectives, also as uh, the IT part, and uh, we have for sure the AI objective. So in terms of stakes uh, on, our, on our side, I mean in, in the IT side, uh, one of the stakes is really to capitalize as possible on the internal open shift skills that we have already in place, that we have already, I would say, started to deploy internally. And we wanted also to, I would say, secure 
the overall components uh, via the OpenShift I solution, uh, secure the deployment of this solution, secure the deployment of the, all the components, and helping us also to have a better level of maintenance of all the stacks that are currently leveraged by the OpenAI uh, solution. And as I said, uh, we want for sure, because we love uh, we love at least the data scientist, by the way, we want to provide the right level of support for the data scientist community on the technical layers themselves. And uh, we have chosen, we have chosen, I would say, uh, OpenShift I by using the operator to well manage on our side the overall life cycle of all the projects that are embedded in the OpenShift I solution. And by the way, as I already said, we are strongly, um, I would say, uh, focusing on the security and we want it to follow, by the way, the rules that has been already defined on the OpenShift cluster to provide at least access to the data scientist, um, access to the component of the, for the data scientist. In terms of AI objective? Yes, so for the AI objectives, so with the uh, OpenShift AI uh, solution, we really want to um, federate uh, all the, um, the users, uh, mainly data scientists, but also data analysts and uh, machine learning uh, engineers around the common vision and best practices. So we want in one end a self-service mode to quickly develop and deploy uh, MVP or POC in a limited resources environment. But we also uh, uh, the need, we have also the need to industrialize, so we need to uh, have a capability to develop and to comp uh, complete machine learning uh, solution uh, for data processing, uh, training model, uh, have inference and monitoring models. And uh, that's uh, why we are uh, uh, with the uh, OpenShift AI solution, we have the data science project features inside the OpenShift AI uh, environment, which permit us today to industrialize uh, this kind of uh, solution. Okay. So let's switch to the nicer, I would say, slide of this session. <laughs> Sorry for that. I'm just a platform engineer, so I know I'm not uh, an artist. But by the way, <laughs> this is an architecture uh, diagram, okay? Just to explain to you, uh, I would say, the overall, I would say, platform that we have in mind and that we have deployed currently on the OpenShift cluster solution. So. Every services are running on OpenShift cluster. The, all the services are, I would say, um, protected in terms of authentication, identification of the users by the enterprise web SSO solution that we have in place within Airbus uh, overall infrastructure, so the enterprise one. And, but for that, we are using Keyclock in front of the users for the op, for the data scientists, for every users that we have to deal with and to interact with all the services running on the OpenShift cluster. On the left part, you can see all the, I would say, um, data OpenShift AI, I would say, components. On the right side, you can see the digital factory part uh, that I already discussed about that you will probably see more details this afternoon. Um, on the, if I'm going back on the left side, on the OpenShift AI, so you have, I would say, access. And we are providing access to Jupyter self-service environments, uh, helping at least uh, the data scientist to pumping up uh, on-demand uh, Jupyter self-service environment based on, I would say, um, dedicated and specific, I would say, images that we have built on top of the OpenShift AI solution due to the fact that we have to embed our internal uh, certificate provided by our internal PKI, um, uh, some specific component to uh, let, I would say, at least data scientists to deal with our data lakes that uh, they have uh, access to uh, to train their model. And uh, we are providing via the data science project, although the capacity uh, for specific use cases uh, to uh, launch dedicated workbench. Workbenches uh, in the data science project are more or less some uh, Jupyter notebook uh, that are used in some specific use, use cases to build, to uh, design at least the model. And uh, they are also able to 
automate uh, some pipeline execution and uh, Sebastian will present to you some one use case and uh, illustrate what I'm just talking about afterward. Uh, automate the execution for the train of the model and at least for sure to deploy and to publish the inference of the model that has been trained. And uh, you can see that in that way we are able with the digital factory uh, part on the right of the side, uh, slide sorry, uh, to I'd say grant access to end users with the front end of the model itself that has been published via the OpenShift AI uh, component. And uh, by the way, OpenShift AI is coming with a set of metrics uh, helping us also to provide at least uh, some monitoring uh, capacities uh, and to have, I would say, at least uh, some metrics for the performance of the model itself. Following our rules, as I said, and this OpenShift cluster has, I would say, some namespaces. We have some specific architecture in place. Uh, so the namespaces has uh, some known affinities, depending on the type of workload that uh, we have to handle in the frame of the data center project, especially for the GPU uh, usage. We have all, namespace, all the namespaces have some dedicated uh, resource quota and limit, uh, limit set, and we are using S3 storage uh, deployed on the OpenShift cluster uh, for the moment, as we are waiting for our storage team to provide at least a more enterprise S3 storage. But this is for moving on on that front for that uh, solution. Let's jumped into the use case. Yes, so to illustrate how it's uh, really easy for us now as a data scientist to deploy uh, uh, machine learning in, uh, in a production. So uh, I illustrate this with, with um, a use case we have to, uh, it's a free text anonymization use case. So we have a data set we, uh, with uh, two uh, text, uh, free text uh, fields, uh, one title and one description. And we have uh, the need to, to anonymize the text or so to remove all the first name and last name from a person in the text. And we have also the, the need to clean some sensitive uh, uh, um, words, uh, for example, uh, military terms or something like that. So we use for that a name entity recognition uh, pre-trained uh, model to identify uh, uh, the part uh, in the text corresponding to the, the first and the last name. And uh, our uh, big picture of our pipeline is to step one, download the data set from our uh, data lake and also download our uh, pre-trained model uh, from our uh, S3 storage. Second step is to uh, launch our uh, model to uh, automatically anonymize uh, free text. Finally, we clean by, uh, we have a final uh, cleaning uh, uh, step to where we remove all the sensitive terms. Then we upload our uh, data set to, uh, to the data lake. And for that, we use uh, Elira uh, AI toolkit. Where, so when uh, all the code is uh, ready, we, uh, with this toolkit, we uh, just drag and drop all the code uh, inside the uh, interface. We connect and, uh, and uh, we uh, have some parameter to, to put inside the each uh, part of the code. And uh, after that, we just have to click on the run button and it will automatically create all the configuration file for the pipeline. So I don't need to have uh, some uh, knowledge about uh, this part. And uh, it will automatically create the pipeline and run the pipeline once uh, just after. And uh, if we go in the interface uh, of uh, Red Hat OpenShift AI, uh, I will automatically uh, see the pipeline which was uh, created. So it's, uh, the we have the display of the pipeline in the Red Hat OpenShift AI interface. And then we can uh, easily uh, uh, schedule uh, instant uh, run uh, of uh, this uh, pipeline, or we can create a current to schedule uh, in a dedicated uh, moment. Okay. So I hope that everyone has really well understanding what you have said, because on my side, I don't <laughs> understand it. I hope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, the OpenShift AI uh, environment is, uh, is in production since uh, two months uh, today. Uh, we are uh, currently working on the service catalog and overall the governance to well support and onboard our uh, data scientist uh, community. 
And from a technical point of view, as the cluster is currently shared between so the OpenShift AI features and the digital factory, um, and as I said, we have already put in place some uh, security rules on the OpenShift clusters. The namespace self, user self creation uh, capacity is totally forbidden on our OpenShift cluster. So we have to automatize the delivery of the data science project by the way, uh, by a dedicated pipelines uh, for providing this capacity. Because currently the OpenShift AI solution has been from my understanding and uh, so far has been, I would say, um, uh, designed to uh, be ready to run on a dedicated cluster, not on the shared cluster itself. So this is why we have to put in place some specific uh, automation on top of the delivery of data center project. But by the way, the self-service is available for the data scientist. That's the and that, that's the aim of the automation. And we have to provide and to enlarge our, I would say, GPU capacities currently that we have in place already on the cluster by providing in the coming weeks uh, some additional uh, GPU cards and GPU capacities by onboarding new, I would say, worker nodes uh, with H100 GPU cards on it. And by the way, to finish, and on to your finish, side. so on uh, our side, on the data science side, uh, we will work uh, now. We have uh, an OpenShift AI uh, uh, platform uh, for uh, all our users. So we will work on uh, machine learning uh, best uh, practices, and we will also work on developing uh, new uh, capabilities and features. Uh, for example, front-end capabilities, uh, drift model uh, monitoring, and also develop a framework dedicated to uh, A/B testing uh, to launch uh, A/B testing. Okay, so this is the end of this presentation. Just to summarize, so we have decided to move on on the OpenShift AI solution, helping us to leverage internal skills on OpenShift, also to help us to understand how the data scientist wants to work, how they are working, and what they are aiming to deliver by the end via the, I would say, process that they want to put in place to uh, leverage AA, ML, uh, ops, um, I would say community at the end. Yes. Yeah. Thanks to all of you and uh, see you. Thank you.